Hey, what is going on, everybody? It's Yonks. Today, I'll be showing you guys the Jinju Go Code D. This is a hack case shotgun you can pick up as a foundry order from the gunsmith. I think I picked this weapon up a couple weeks ago. But anyway, guys, the first thing I want to do is compare this with the conspiracy theory so you guys can get an idea of the stats on this shotgun. Anyway, let's take a look. Conspiracy theory has less rate of fire, more impact. More range, less stability, less reload, more in the mag. Okay, so this is like a high rate of fire, low impact type shotgun. Let's take a look further into the details. Now, mine did come with void damage, and I infused mine to get it to an attack of 308. All right, now let's take a look here. We got the CQB Ballistics and the Linear Compensator. I go with the Linear Compensator to increase that range and impact. You do want to prioritize range and impact on a shotgun for sure, guys, so I would recommend that. Now we got final round on mine. The last round in a magazine deals bonus damage. Great, great perk, especially with a three round shotgun. Absolutely amazing. Now we got battle runner. I also really, really like this perk. Kills with this weapon, granting a brief boost to the sprint's top speed. Alrighty, not bad. Extra movement speed never hurts anybody. Now we got flared magwell. Hand loaded, this weapon is an effective at an extended range and rifled barrel. Increased range, slower reload. Now I will take that slower reload for that extra range there flared magwell will reload your weapon even faster but i don't really need that rifled barrel is an obvious choice here that's what i would go with and that's what i recommend but remember guys you can pick whatever you want this is just what i like let's take a look at the aesthetics now now this is a hack a weapon it does have that desert tan theme going on at least that's what i get from this that nice tan and black but anyway let's get right into the gameplay guys now I brought the Jinju Kogo into PvP and I must say I really did like this shotgun. I enjoyed using it and it wasn't difficult for me to get the footage and it didn't take too long. But anyway, I do want to go over a few things about this shotgun and make sure you guys get that last round perk if you're picking it up as a foundry order. Make sure you get that last round and make sure you're at least rank 3 in the gunsmith to assure i forget what rank it is it probably was rank three to get the last round but it'd be silly not to get it that's all i'm saying guys but anyway with that last round it's very reassuring when you shoot your first two shots you know that third shot is gonna destroy and do massive damage and another thing with this shotgun guys it doesn't have that high rate of fire so you want to make sure you're pretty pretty damn close to your enemy because if they have a shotgun and you shoot your first shot just slightly out of range and you do have a little bit of time before you could shoot your next shot so make sure you're close enough before you shoot that first shot you can see in this footage here a lot of my footage I'm not close enough and you really do have to be close enough even with rifled barrel even with the linear compensator sight even with all that stuff it's still not enough you do have to still be pretty damn close to one shot. That final round, though, will usually one shot depending on what range, if you're not too far away. But anyway, guys, leave in the comments what you think about this shotgun. Do you enjoy using it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know because I want to know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the video and so for the support. I'd highly appreciate it.